Einstein's theory of general relativity is our best theory of space and time. As we talked about before, it's you imagine space and time as a sheet, just imagine it as a thing, sort of a, a, literally a sheet surface. And all the theory says is that if you put matter and or energy into that, then it curves it and distorts it. Embarking on the frontier of theoretical physics, Brian Cox takes us on a thrilling journey into the enigmatic realm of traversable wormholes, tantalizing portals that may hold the key to unlocking the secrets of time itself. Within the intricate tapestry of space-time, Cox's exploration unravels the captivating potential of these cosmic tunnels as gateways through time, challenging the very foundations of our comprehension of the universe. Brace yourself for an expedition into the unknown where the boundaries of theoretical physics are pushed to their limits and the mysteries of time travel await discovery. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. Physics protects the past. Certain theories, particularly special and general relativity, propose that specific spatial temporal geometries or particular types of motion in space could enable time travel to the past. This idea explores the concept of closed time-like curves, representing world lines forming closed loops in space-time, allowing objects to revisit their own past. While solutions to the equations of general relativity describing space-times with closed time-like curves exist, the physical feasibility of these solutions remains uncertain. Many scientists find backward time travel highly improbable due to potential causality problems. The grandfather paradox serves as a classic example, illustrating how altering the past could create contradictions in causality. Consistency paradoxes arise whenever changing the past is deemed possible, with the proposed resolution being that a time traveler can only do things that did happen. Assuming time travel to the past is physically impossible, attention turns to traveling into the future. Physicists assert the inevitability of this possibility, citing examples such as the speed of protons in the Large Hadron Collider, where relativistic effects result in slower time passage. Arthur Eddington's 1927 concept of the arrow of time, establishing the one-way direction of time, addresses the fundamental question of why time seems to flow in a singular direction. This inquiry led to the development of thermodynamics, a crucial field for understanding the universe's evolution and the passage of time, notably through the second law of thermodynamics. Time travel. While the arrow of time typically progresses in a singular direction, specific space-time geometries within the framework of general relativity, such as traversable wormholes, enabling speeds surpassing that of light, imply the theoretical feasibility of time travel to the past. General relativity provides a scientific foundation supporting the potential for backward time travel in certain unconventional scenarios. However, arguments from semi-classical gravity propose that incorporating quantum effects into general relativity might close these loopholes. General relativity, which describes the universe through a system of field equations governing the metric or distance function of space-time, offers exact solutions featuring closed time-like curves, world lines intersecting themselves at some point in both the casual future and casual past, constituting a scenario akin to time travel. Wormholes have emerged as a method gaining traction for time travel in the physics community, although uncertainty persists regarding their existence, despite being permitted by the Einstein field equations of general relativity. In the context of Einstein's theory of general relativity, these wormholes serve as shortcuts through both space and time. If wormholes exist, are traversable and stable on a substantial scale, the prospect of constructing a time machine becomes conceivable. However, the introduction of quantum mechanics, encompassing various elements beyond gravity, such as atoms and electromagnetic radiation, raises concerns about the inherent instability of large wormholes. This instability, highlighted in Einstein's theory, was articulated in a renowned 1930s paper by Einstein and Rosen, predating the term wormholes, and integrated into the fundamental description of a black hole through the maximally extended Schwarzschild metric. Most physicists, influenced by Stephen Hawking's chronology protection conjecture, 
maintain that these large wormholes would be unstable and impractical for time travel, debunking the possibility of constructing time machines. Nevertheless, it's worth noting that wormholes are gaining significant popularity in what is known as the ER equals EPR paradigm. The term ER refers to Einstein-Rosen, a concept dating back to the 1930s, when Einstein and Rosen observed the potential existence of certain geometries in space-time. The EPR in the paradigm stands for Einstein-Podolsky-Rosen, specifically representing quantum entanglement or spooky action at a distance. Currently, one of the most compelling explanations for how information escapes from a black hole involves this paradigm. In this context, there is a dual description where quantum entanglement, the phenomenon of linked particles at a distance, appears to have a possible connection to wormholes. This exploration is at the forefront of current research, and the fashionable perspective is that wormholes might play a role in understanding quantum entanglement and the escape of information from black holes. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that this field is on the cutting edge and the stability of wormholes remains uncertain. If they could be stabilized, there is theoretical potential for their use as time machines, though such a scenario is considered unlikely. Nevertheless, the absence of a fully developed quantum theory of gravity complicates matters. The deep integration of relativity and quantum mechanics required to provide a comprehensive understanding is still elusive. Many physicists emphasize that the challenges and paradoxes associated with time travel suggest a profound difficulty in envisioning a universe constructed to allow for it. Considering the current state of our knowledge, most physicists would cautiously assert that the laws of nature likely preclude the existence of stable macroscopic wormholes suitable for time travel. Time travel to the past. In Einstein's theory, we encounter a four-dimensional space where the possibility of traveling back in time is constrained by the speed of light. This limitation seamlessly integrates into the geometric framework of the theory. Concepts like wormholes emerge, suggesting the potential for tunneling through space-time. Stephen Hawking introduced the chronology protection conjecture, which, from a physics standpoint, appears paradoxical. It doesn't seem to align with the idea of constructing a universe that permits time travel to alter events, such as preventing one's parents from meeting before one's birth. The conjecture posits that the fundamental laws of nature inherently prohibit travel into the past. While this idea holds true in Einstein's special theory of relativity, its validity in a general theory remains uncertain. The existence of shortcut possibilities complicates the issue, leaving theoretical physicists in a state of conjecture, leaning towards the notion that the fabric of physics safeguards the integrity of the past. Hypothetically, the operation of a time travel machine utilizing a traversable wormhole would involve accelerating one end of the wormhole to a substantial fraction of the speed of light, potentially facilitated by an advanced propulsion system. Subsequently, it would be brought back to its initial point of origin. As per current theories concerning the characteristics of wormholes, constructing a traversable one necessitates the presence of a substance exhibiting negative energy, commonly known as exotic matter. In a scenario where wormholes indeed exist, a Type III civilization on the Kardashev scale could harness them for both intergalactic space travel and the prospect of time travel. We hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel. Goodbye.